Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of BA Select Start. Base. I like the slight uh, longer pause that you did this time around. Um, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> once again, we are back here with another edition. Once again, we are doing another quarantine style edition because of everything that's going on. On behalf of Dan, the man, and myself, we hope that everybody is staying home and staying safe from the pandemic that's going on currently. Um, Dan, how you doing? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing good. We got some news this, uh, what was it, two days ago? Uh, Thereabouts, yeah. Yeah, on a subject matter that we first started the series with, and then we kind of shifted away from it but now we're coming back into it which is kind of the beauty of the series where we can really go in any direction um but if you want to read the press release uh that you currently have in regards to wwe 2k21 all right so the bit that i've got here uh says according to a wwe earnings call on thursday uh, uh interim chief financial officer frank riddick confirmed that there won't be a game this year there's not going to be a launch of a game this year, he said in response to a question about WWE 2K21's release. So, I mean, that's about as definitive as you can get. <laughs> <laughs> Very uh, short and sweet and to the point. Uh... So, so, obviously, I mean, the, the whole reason for this is because of the, te- the, the horrendous uh, release of 20 this, this past time. I think it's that. Do you think that the pandemic that's going on probably played a, a bit of a role in this as well? I mean, that might, I, I would say that it's possible that was like the final nail in the coffin, but I, I, I think that they were already, it was already kind of on the fence. Um, and then you have a game spot review score of 2 out of 10. I don't know about the other sites, but... Uh, it, <laughs> Like, here, I'm going to try and pull up uh, 2K19's score. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to chime into, go for it. Yeah. I I forget where I heard this or saw this, but apparently 2K20 has had eight patch updates, which apparently is the most in history when it comes to wrestling games. But... I don't know because uh, I don't know if you still seldomly play the game. I offloaded the game. I, I haven't touched it in a while, so I'm sure that my outfit still trails behind me. Oh man, what a mess! Uh, I, I I I I jumped back in briefly to to do the download of the uh, the Southpaw. Sh- no, the one after that, the the last one, the oh, I don't like, cyberpunk know. one. Yeah. And it's, it's quirky. It's silly. It, it, it has sort of a Tron vibe about it, which makes it fun. But it's still, it's more of the same. Cause I'm, the... I'm, I'm going to jump in real quick. Yes, 2K yes, go 18, ahead, go. 2K18 had a score of 5 out of 10, and 19 had a score of 7. And then we went all the way down to 2. Yeah, um, I'm not going to lie. 2K19 is still my go-to wrestling game. Uh, I th- I think I just mentioned it a few seconds ago. I deleted 2K20 from my PS4. Haven't gotten back to it. I actually haven't played it in uh, 2020. I uh, I just I don't know what it was. I just I couldn't do it. The scheme of the controls was I got used to it, but it just it it, it wasn't pleasant to navigate. All the glitches in between. So many small things that, you know, you would think would function are not, are not functioning. But I think, once again, much like how we talked about Last of Us having a delay, I, this didn't really come as a shock to me. As a matter of fact, it was the farthest thing from a shock because I think we could see this coming from, you know, 10, 20 miles away. That there, pro- there, there was going to be a lot of backlash and a lot of... It was going to be a cluster trying to get into... 2k21 yeah uh there were even reports that apparently employees were walking out before there was a pandemic that employees were walking out that they were having budget cuts so i think the game was already in trouble even before there was a pandemic but i mean i'm sure (laughs) what was that i said oh i'm sure (laughs) 
But um, that's what I kind of wanted to get into. So now that we know that 2K21 is canceled, if, if you were the CEO, Dan, of, of 2K, where would you take the direction of everything from here? What would you do? Um, well, I, I know we, we delved into it back when, uh, back when we started the whole series, yeah. um, that taking a year off, like just ha- doing an, doing an entry every two years at this point, especially if that's, that's the way that their work ethic goes. Yeah. I mean, for goodness sake, you had the the old SmackDown games that uh, were also done annually, and they just overall came out a lot better yes. than this. And this is years later when the technology is better, when you would Im- imagine that a company well-known for its other sports simulators uh, would be able to put something co- uh, coherent together, and then you get this, where just literally everything goes wrong. Yeah. Um, it's disappointing. Um, if I were the the, the CEO of uh, Take Two, uh, I, I I would have to reassess this entire game from the the ground up. Um, I would probably look to the. I would I would probably j- jump on or have a team jump on to all of those gaming review websites and find the entries that have the highest rating and use that as sort of my baseline. Okay, well, let's look at these ones, the ones that scored seven, eights and nines and see what, what people liked. And we'll try to like kind of put all of that together. And then maybe we'll see if there's something new we can do, but let's start with a solid ground. Um, If I was the CEO of WWE, I would question whether or not I want to work with 2k anymore. (laughs) Yeah, um, the the funny thing is, relatively, probably about an hour or two before we started recording, I kind of had that ground zero mentality too, where I was like, you know, we can either continue building off of the train wreck that we have now, or we can pull back and go, hey, let's start from ground zero and just work our way up. And I, I think one time you brought up an idea of... You know, if we're going to develop the next game, whether it's 2K21, 2K22, whatever it is, have a bunch of, you know, employees. Plug in a whole bunch of, you know, those old PS2, PS3 wrestling games and just play through it and assess it. Hey, in this game, what worked? What didn't work? Because you can go on YouTube right now and you can type in, you know, top 10 wrestling games and everybody's going to give you a list and nine times out of 10 the top wrestling games on that list is no mercy uh here comes the pain give or take some of the smackdown versus raw games and as of recent memory 2k14 which by the way i found out that 2k14 was more of a thq game than a 2k game yeah, because it, it wasn't it that THQ had THQ had developed most of that game, and then uh, it got moved over to Two K. Yeah, it was during a transitional period, which explains why it was such a good game, and then how we got Two K fifteen. But yeah, because it, it, it was brought to you by a team who didn't know what the hell they were doing. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, we're no game developers ourselves, so I don't want to be stepping on anybody's toes, but. The, the the fact that someone green lit two K twenty it it boggles my mind. I'm still trying to think what that meeting came to. Where it's like, yeah, it seems like everything is functioning okay. Okay, let's let's green light it. Let's get those games shipped out. It yeah, just... I mean, I I I, I don't want to fault the developers themselves. Um, whoever in the the because I I think that there's certain things in the game that are fine. Um, outside of how poorly the final product performed, um, like like you said, uh, eight patches. <laughs> how do you, how do you how do you justify eight patches and still having problems with your game? I'm gonna quickly um, throw this in there. 
you might want to divide that by half because it seems to me like half those patches were only to implement the DLC. So really, you only got four patches to fix the actual game. But continue. Okay. But, yeah, anyway, the, the, my, my whole point is, wherever the quality control comes in, they're the, they're the people that, I, or, or maybe the project director, comes down to those people that this is their fault. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, um, I think the developers, the actual people making the game, did okay. Um, the, 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 what the hell, the, like I said, the DLC is fun. The story was uh, was okay, um, but yeah, it was just hella buggy. I, I go to two K nineteen, and and you look at how functioning, ev- like how functional everything is, and then you kind of jump into two K twenty, and it's like, what ha- what what the hell happened? You know, and I get it. Yeah, Ukes, either they walked out or they quit or, or whatever the agenda was, but. Knowing that your product is not ready, how do you how do you green light it? Um, someone even uh, uh, brought up the idea that, for example, if we had two K nineteen, you sell the game, you know, for thirty nine ninety nine, and if we're doing a bi yearly release, what you do is that once roughly about a year passes from two K nineteen, then you sort of you offer like a fifteen dollar add on roster DLC where it updates your roster. You know, if someone de- if someone debuted but they were they didn't debut, you know, when two K nineteen was coming out, now you'll be able to have them. Because let's be honest, more than half these two K games, it was basically just a roster update. You know, more than anything. I mean, there was a moment where we didn't have a showcase mode, so really all you were getting was a, a roster update. Um, but with all that said, the, um, I, I forget the guy's name, but the guy that was doing all those videos, the former Road to WrestleMania developer, you know, the guy pretty much said that this was coming, that 2K21 was on the verge of being canceled. However, it also comes to, uh, our attention because he said this as well, that apparently 2K is working on a non-simulated wrestling game which is not going to follow the official series it's kind of going to be like a side project um what are your thoughts on that dan what do you think well i mean my whole thing is that uh it's all it's all well and good that we are gonna get something but if we're steering into something that's more arcade based versus sim based when the simulation based games is what we that's that that was their job. Let's be real. 2K's job this whole time was to continue the SmackDown versus Raw lineage. Yes. Um and they didn't they didn't do it. <laughs> um at least not well. Yeah. And so, so to now turn and which game did you liken it to wwe all-stars uh well i was just pointing out that that was like you know a side wrestling game uh all-stars the legends of wrestlemania and i remember when smackdown versus raw was the official series you had um day of reckoning as like your side you know wrestling game that didn't follow the main series yeah i um i'm not that intrigued Honestly, because the, the, the wrestling games that I gravitated towards for a long time are the, the sim-based ones. Even No Mercy, I think, qualifies as a, as a wrestling simulator um, because you actually had to do the, the matches. And it wasn't just... Uh, it wasn't like Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, but that one, the SmackDown vs. Raw games, even the the other the earlier WWE games we talked about, which was like 14 and that sort of stuff, um, were fine. But when your quality drops this far, it's it's not surprising to me uh, that this happened. And I'm hoping that it, it functions as a as a wake up call and they uh, revisit the whole thing to find a way to make it work. Because these games have a history, they have been fun, and I think that's that's the the biggest gripe that the fans have had this year. 
Yeah, I I think before I mentioned this where I said, when it when it came to WWE Two K Twenty One, I brought up the idea of stripping everything away that they usually work on. You know, the showcase mode, the career mode, and all that, and focus just on core gameplay, because a lot of the old school games. I think that was its highest selling point. You look at the no mercies of the world, the here comes the pains of the world, the 2K14s of the world. Did they all have very good, you know, career modes and season modes and all those, you know, bells and whistles? Yes, they did. But if you were to just strip all that away and just give someone core gameplay, that's where the game has its highest value. Um, Like, you think back to games like No Mercy where... You could literally get, you know, kicked around the ring for, you know, 15 minutes. And then somehow you could still get a comeback and win the match. Um, there, there's just, there, there, there's, there's something in those old wrestling games. And I don't, I don't know if it's just gameplay, if it's just exhibition mode or what it is. There's something in it where it, it has you coming back and replaying the game. And I think that in specific cases like 2K20... They got so focused on, oh, the career mode, oh, this, oh, that, that when it came time to core gameplay and core mechanics, it lacks. So yeah, that, that, that should be where you start. You shouldn't be peppering in all these silly-ass modes if none of them are going to work. I mean, I will give credit where credit's due. Like, the cutscenes for the Four Horsewomen, you know, showcase is very, very good. But the only problem is that nobody asked for it. I don't really think anybody even wanted it. And it's one of those things where if you complete it, you probably just put it to the side and never revisit it again. Or you don't even complete it. Because what's the point of having four versions of each horsewoman on your roster? Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think that should be their biggest thing right now. Like, the mentality should be, okay, let's go to ground zero. Let's build from the ground up. Not trying to take, you know, the wreckage that we have from before and trying to, to tweak it. Um, it, it only interests me to see when we pick up again on the main series where we're going to be. I feel like it's either going to be really good or it's going to be worse than 2K20. I mean, I don't know. What are your thoughts? Um, so if this one got two stars, I am, I'm going to anticipate the next one's only going to land around five. But you'll, I, I think we're going to see some improvement. But it also depends on when they start. Like, they should have a team in a room devising a game plan now they need to not wait until well damn okay well we'll 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 start putting together in january no 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 no. you don't do not wait till january to start a game you're you're supposed to release in october when your last entry was was a for lack of a better term shit show yes uh lay the groundwork now devise your plan because I, I would say if you have everything mapped out by January, then maybe you're okay, if not sooner. But if you start the planning process in January, it's gonna it's gonna blow up in your face. Yeah. Um. So see. So I I, I think we'll see some progress. I don't know how much. Um. I think that uh, this might finally be the time where my dreams come true. Because I think if they really want something to shoot some steroids <laughs> into the game, um, then I think a GM mode uh, <laughs> rehash might actually be a way to just kind of catch some, some fanfare initially. Or if they're like, hey, we brought back this mode that you guys all really liked, then people might be like, okay, well, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And then even if people buy the game and it's garbage, then 2K got your money. But I think you need something big uh, to 
win people back over. Because that, that's the other thing that I think we'll, what we might see is if they go about it as business as usual and they go, okay, well, we, we got a new version of 2K. You guys want it? People are going to say no because the last one was trash. Yeah. <laughs> You've got you've got to have some marquee feature that makes people go. All right, I I need to try this one to see if it's if it's worth anything. But I think that this will be the last shot. If they come out with twenty one or twenty two or whatever, or if they rebrand it to uh, WWE two K, um, then I think that if they if they botch this next one, it's dead. I don't think that they can re-win the trust. Yeah, ironically talking about rebranding, I think that if there was ever a moment where you needed to rebrand the main franchise, it would be now. I think that if you had plans of giving it a new look, giving it a new name, new bells and whistles, right now would be probably the best time to do so. Um, Because I think just saying 2K out loud still leaves a bad taste in everybody's mouth from what we got last time. Yeah. It was also brought to my attention that, and I didn't even think of this, the fact that 2K20 has had 50%, 60% sales probably about four or five times. And it hasn't even been a year since release. And it's like... When you kind of think about it, wow, if you have to discount a $60 game four or five times in less than a year, in less than, has it been six months, um, in order to get a book or two, I think that tells you like how desperate they are to, you know, to, to get a cash grab from you know, all the players out there. Yeah. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we see 2K pop up as one of the PlayStation Plus free games one of these months. Oh, it's not even worth it. I mean, to be honest, like, I regret so much. Keep in mind, I got the SmackDown 20th Anniversary DLC for nine ninety nine. Um yeah. I I regretted it immediately. I, like, I played it for a, for a second, and I just, I was like, I'm done with this. And I deleted it off my PS4. Ouch. Well, that speaks wonders. Mine's still on there, but I've been playing Digimon Cyber Sleuth for, like, a month now, and... 2K hasn't even crossed my mind. So I think they're 0-2 when it comes to you and I. But, <laughs> no, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very big mess that, needs to, that they need to start cleaning right now. And I think you're right. If there's any mindset of waiting until later, waiting until next year, waiting until they see what happens with the pandemic and when things can go back to place, you are wasting your time. Because I know right now the, the, the popular thing to do whether you have a TV show or whatever, is to, you know, go on a, a three-way or four-way Zoom and, you know, record the whole thing, having a conversation. Um, like, yeah. I don't know if you've seen the, the more recent episodes of um, Up, Up, Down, Down. Everything, you know, everybody is in a separate room. Nobody's together. Um, oh, yeah. So I think that, you know, 2K should take advantage of it and go, okay, well, if we're not allowed to go to work, let's all get on Zoom have a three-way, four-way session, and let's start getting some ideas going. What do we want to do? When everything goes back to normal, what's the first thing we want to tackle? How do we get this game off the ground running? That's just, that's just my, my opinion. No, I, I agree. That, that's, a, that's a good use of your time, especially since you don't need... Like you, it's not like you need all of the developers in a room to do it. You don't need 70 people discussing the thing. You need five people. Just... Correct. Five, five of your, your, your brass, put them on a Zoom call and say, hey, have a, have a think, think session and let me know what you guys come up with because we need to fix the mess that was this game this year. Yeah. And then, and then like I said, look at the old games. See what features are praised in the various IGN, GameSpot, uh, da, 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 other websites. Um pages to see what their reviews are, are talking about and implement those like i said if you come in and you've got a, a, a big thing like a gm mode or create a uh, story what create a story yeah or a create a story mode something that is got that that is so different from the previous entries that's that people are still going to say well you know i got to give that a shot now 
then you're, you're off to a good start. But just like writing, just like writing a script, sit down, draft out the whole plot before you even start. And then once you bring your, once you have your beat sheet and you bring it to the table to start writing, you're going to have a much easier time. And not to suggest, not to suggest that they don't do that normally. It just seems like they don't care and have it really committed enough of their energy to making it good as much as making it. Yeah, I never really got that vibe from 2K. Like, if we talk about companies like Naughty Dog or, or Rockstar Games, you could tell, like, they try to go above and beyond for the consumer. They try to give you more than, you know, your money's worth. With 2K, I never really got that vibe. It was more of like, hey, how do we throw something in their face so that they don't complain for a year? All right, let's 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 do it. You know, I, I never got the vibe of like, yeah, let's... Let's give them the ultimate wrestling experience so that they'll they'll be talking about it for years to come. No, I'm sorry, but it's let's make another let's just make another game. Yeah, basically. That's that's the mindset to 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 put it in a more modest way. Yeah, let's just let's let's make a game. Let's get it over with. So And I mean, I've got I've got friends who play the other 2K games and they love them. They love the basketball. They love the uh, what do they have? Hockey, and it doesn't matter. Every every time they do an entry, they're they're on board, and that hasn't been the case with this because they're either not capturing the magic. I don't think they ever really um, stuck the landing, um, so it's not even like they had one that came out and it was like this was so good. It's an eight. It's a nine. Okay, well let's stick that one. They were constantly playing catch up, coming from a five to a seven, and then losing it entirely to go to a two. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what what goes on in the boardroom over at Take Two, but honestly, if I was WWE or whoever handles the executive decision to do business with Two K, I would probably pull the plug right now and be like, okay, who can we align ourselves with in regards to the games? Who can we trust? Who can come take this train wreck and, you know, improve it, fix it, you know, and gain the trust back from all the consumers? Um, And again, I mean, I was always taught to give credit where credit's due. I think that 2K somewhat scratched the surface with 2K19. Um, You know, the fact that everybody's mentality was, oh, let's just go back to 2K19. I think that tells you that there is some replay value or some value to 2K19. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. They, 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 they have something that, it, that looks to be a bit promising if you just implement, you know, new features, improvements. So, you kind of have a base for what, where you need to go. It's just a matter of if you decide to use it. Yeah, so, I mean, we can spitball ideas all day of what they need to do, but uh, I guess time will tell, and we'll see where everything goes and how everything works out. Uh, But all I can tell everybody is, and I I think you'll agree, Dan, is uh, don't hold your breath, because unless if I see a teaser or something that looks promising or out of this world, I'll get excited, but in the meantime... I'm not getting my hopes up for anything. Yeah, so. I think this is definitely one where they would benefit, and I don't know how many people would, would jump at it, but if conventions get to start working again or if they get to do like a limited press press convention for various things like, uh, Jesus, I can't even remember all the, all the acronyms, uh, Consumer Electronics Show, CES, yeah, um, or E3, I think, is another one. Yes. If they... If they can pump something out by, like, I don't know, June, <laughs> and cycle it to these conventions so that people can actually play them and get a feel for them, uh, that's probably also a good a good telling sign for them whether or not their product is going to be their saving grace or not. But, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's unfortunate that, that WWE... Uh, part went went uh, parted ways with 
uh, Ukes and, and THQ because those were the those were the games that were good. Yeah, and they put their stock in two K, and it, I just don't think it's panned out the way they were hoping. Yeah, well, with THQ, there was a little bit of circumstance. I think the, 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 they went out of business, but Ukes, it seems like it was completely voluntary. Like, yeah. okay, we don't really see eye-to-eye with your idea, so we're probably going to let you go. Uh, knowing that Ukes was kind of the bread and butter of what made the recent wrestling games work. Um, well, it, it isn't Ukes, Ukes is the, the studio making the other game, right? The independent, the independent yeah. game? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, it's just going to be—it's just going to be a generic wrestling game, I believe, because I don't think it's going to have any anyone we know. Uh, it's not going to be—it's uh, not a WWE game, and as far as I know, it's not an AEW game, right? Well, I was hearing rumblings about that, about how um, AEW was trying to partner up with Ukes and how Kenny Omega is trying to get a no mercy, a modern day no mercy AEW game going. So I don't know what the update is about that, but it seems like that's... I mean, I'd play the hell out of it. <laughs> I, I would too, no lies. Like, whether, I mean, I, I know some of the guys, I don't know all of them, but a, a modern No Mercy, hell yeah. I'm like, take my money, you know? So, yeah, yeah it's, I don't know. We'll, well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that's the best way to put it, because... Uh, I don't know. You would think that last year at this time they were grinding, trying to get the best wrestling game out there, and then we got 2K20. So, I don't know. Now we got a pandemic that's taken over the world, so that kind of limits them even more. Um, But we'll see. So, any final remarks, Dan, about anything? Um... I mean, give us your thoughts in the in the comments, and, and listeners, uh, as to whether you think there's going to be another one, how you would approach this if you were in charge, uh, and if you think maybe it's time to cut ties. Um, so, with that said, once again, guys, thank you so much for joining us on another edition of BA Select Start. Uh, once again, we hope that everybody is staying safe. Uh, from everything that's going on. Let us know your thoughts about anything that we discussed today on the episode. Let us know what you guys think, and we will see you all next time.